Hey, what is going on you guys? Dale here from Freedom and Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year, guys. Um, welcome to 2017. Um, I hope you guys all have a, a good new year. Um, I know 2016 was a bit of a rough year because um, we lost quite a few people. We lost quite a few famous people. Um, but yeah, here's to 2017 and here's to the future. Um, this week, um, you might see some of the Xbox One content that I've got. Um, so the GTA, probably to start off with. I've got Halo, I've got Forza, you name it. I've got a good couple of games there, so keep an eye out for those. Also, I want to mention um, something new to you guys. Um, for you guys that play uh, GTA, um, I want to mention this app to you guys. Now this app you can actually download on your own mobile devices, um, not in the game, but your phone, this phone for example, um, you can actually download this app. Um, I want to give a special thanks to uh, Matez Hersey, aka Connor McDade, who's my, who's my friend, for uh, telling me about this app for GTA. So basically what, it's, what it is, is you know how you got your iFruit phone in GTA, the game? Well, this this app is actually an iFruit app, so you can download it on your phone. So, um, this app's free to download. Um, look for it in the Google Play Store. Um, it's called iFruit, small i, capital F for fruit. Um, so, there's the app there, if you guys can see that. So, what it basically allows you to do is, you got Chop the Dog, you got your Los Santos Customs, you got your uh, Rockstar Social Club and all that. Um, some of them, the wee mini apps you have to download, um, but yeah, you got Los Santos Customs, you got Chop the Dog. Um, Chop the Dog is basically like a, a virtual reality um version of chop that you can have on your phone so you can feed them you can give them water you can teach them new tricks and i'll actually progress that in the gta game on the campaign um lost santos customs um which is the one in the corner there i don't know if you guys can see that um the one in the corner um lost santos customs that allows you to um change some of the vehicles um so if i go into Give it a second to build. <clears throat> so these apps take a wee while to load, it'll only take about a minute or so to load. So there you go, that's it loading up or Santos Customs. If you guys can see that. So we'll have the Rockstar symbol at the bottom as well. That's it just loading night. So there you go, you got you got like say I'll come up with um, your recent card that you've been playing with um, your GTA online character. Well from the campaign anyway. So what you can do is you can actually have a look at the cards and the vehicles that you've got for them specific characters. And I'll show you the last vehicle that you used for, like, say, Franklin, Michael, or Trevor. Um, another thing that you can do is you can you got these options here at the bottom. So you got garage, you got customize, you got the the plates, and you got the home. Um, if I go into this one, which is plates, you can actually custom you can actually customize your own. Your own play. I don't know if you guys can see that because it is quite bright. Um, but yeah, you can customize your own plates for your cars. Um, so basically, you get to select like say, the color background you can have. So, for example, you got the blue one, you got white, you got black. Um, each plate is different slightly because it's different at the top. Um, but yeah, it's quite smart 
Uh, I think mine's one. I think mine's was a white one. Um, but yeah, that allows you to edit your own license plate. So what you do is you, all you have to do is not like I said, just type in like so you, you can type in your own, own personal name. Um, the only thing that it doesn't allow is um just like so your first name. I won't allow that. It's got like so. It could be a gamer tag though. Um, if it's a gamer tag, then fine, fair enough, I'll allow that. Um, it only allows a maximum of certain amount of letters, so kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, mine's has just got simply Dale F on it. Um, once you're done, you go. Uh, once you're done uh, customizing your license plate, you go back to. Uh, cust you go back to the one called customize which is the one just here so it comes up all these settings for like so customizing your car and all that and um, what you do is you just click order at the top and what you just click order at the top there and basically what it does is it orders your license plate and that will put it onto that car so yeah um, you can get these uh, license plates for free and online um, all you have to do is drive to any Los Santos uh, garage on GTA Online, um, drive your car in, go to plates, and your own personalised license plate should be there. Um, it doesn't cost you anything um, online, it's completely free. Um, but with your story mode capture, once you order it, it'll cost you an uh, in game fee. So I'll take money off of like say, either Franklin, Trevor, or Michael. It's only a small fee, but um, the first license plate that you order in the campaign, um, I think you get that for free. Um, any other ones might slightly charge you in the game, but I I don't know necessarily how this works. But have a look around, have a look at it. It's quite a good app. Um, the other one that I told you was Chop. Chop the dog, so you it's like a virtual reality version of Chop. Um, like I said, you get to feed them, you get you get to give them water, you can take them out for walks, uh, teach them new tricks, and all all of that on your phone will progress progress in the campaign. So you'll be happier, you'll be able to teach them new tricks, and um, take them places and all that. So it's pretty cool. So it comes up that. So I'll just give it a second to load. So there you go. If you guys can see that, you got your own virtual reality chop. So you got food, you got water, you got walks. So as you can see right now, he's sleeping. Because uh, he's needing more water and food. Um, you got let's say, the present one, which you got the present one there, which is the uh, fourth one down, which allows you to take uh, give them new stuff. Um, you got the ribbon one there at the bottom as well, which allows them to teach them new tricks. So we'll give them some food just now. So, um, yeah, guys, have a look at this app. It's pretty cool. Um, like I said, it's called iFruit. So have a look at that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and if you're new to my channel, um, like I said, subscribe. Um, hit the bell button, get notified of all my new videos. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys all have a happy new year. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.